Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about what changes that Prop 19 is gonna bring in 2021. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching. You know, today I wanna to talk about Prop 19. There are a number of changes that have been brought about by Prop 19 that a lot of people really don't understand. So I wanted to take a few minutes to kind of explain the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that's in it so that everybody's aware of what this looks like. So there's a couple of really great things about Prop 19. So as of April 1st, 2021, you will be able to, if you're over the age of 55, move anywhere in the state of California and take your property tax base with you. So in the past, you could only do this one time and you could only move to certain counties of California. Well, now you'll be able to move up to three times and carry that tax base with you. And the best part about this is that you don't necessarily have to move to a property that's of lesser value than the property that you own now. You'll be able to carry that tax base with you. And if you buy a more expensive property, your property tax base will be prorated above your current price. So that's great news for a lot of Californians. It gives you a lot more flexibility. So if you know, if you wanna move closer to family or, or something like that, and you still wanna move within the state of California, it's a great opportunity and have a lot of tax savings for you. Other people who can qualify for that are also people who are severely disabled and also people who are um, victims of wildfires. So you may have seen that on the actual ballot where it talks about wildfire victims would be able to move their property tax base with them. So here's the other part of Prop 19. So the big other change that it brings is that you now no longer can inherit a property that was not a primary residence and rent it out and keep the same tax base. So the old tax laws were that if you inherited a property from a parent, you could get an exemption, a parent-child transfer exemption or a grandparent to grandchild exemption, and you would get that property, as long as you filled out the right paperwork, you would get it and you'd have the same tax basis as your parents had or your grandparents had. So if they were only paying $1,000 a year in property taxes because they bought the property back in 1972, well, now you would get that same tax base, whether or not it was your primary residence. Well, that has changed as well. So as of February 15th, 2021, the new rule is that the only time that you would be able to have that tax base change and transfer to your name if you inherit the property is if it was your parents or grandparents' primary residence and it transferred to you and it became now your primary residence. If it becomes a rental property, uh, or if your parents held it as a rental property, you no longer qualify for that lower tax base. You would now be reassessed at the new value, which is a pretty significant number for a lot of people. Um, there are some ways to look at some planning with this. I would recommend you talk to your uh, consultant, You can your tax, advisor or your financial planner or your estate planning attorney. Um, but there are some different ways that can be done, one of which is to transfer that property to your child, obviously before February 1st, um, but obviously there's some ramifications about that as well. If you have any questions about this, feel free to give me a call and I can explain it in more depth as it pertains to your particular scenario. As and always, if you have any questions about your real estate needs, feel free to give me a call at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.